and I'm gonna blend it in and I'm gonna redo that because what am I even saying? You guys, I can't lie. Your girl's feeling this look. I'm digging it. I don't know why <laughs> because I did it. No, I'm kidding. I am just like feeling these rosy mauve pinky red tones lately. I don't know what it is. I just can't stay away from them. Today I used my Bretman Rock and Lip Palette. I used like one other shadow from my Anastasia palette, but I mostly used this palette today. I love this palette. It is so beautiful. I definitely feel like this is more of an underrated makeup product. I don't know why this palette isn't talked about more. These shadows are super creamy. They're super pigmented and blendable. So if you haven't tried this out, I would def definitely recommend it. It is very affordable. I think it's like 12 dollars and you get eight shadows so if you see this online or in a store somewhere pick it up because it's a solid 10 out of 10. Why do I feel like I'm doing a review video? Well there's a mini review on this palette. So in today's video I'm showing you how to get this half cut crease kind of vibe and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do today is use my Farsali Unicorn Essence. This is a skin enhancing antioxidant serum. This is a great primer. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times before. It has been all over Instagram. And I'm just going to pat this in. This primer does get nice and sticky really quick, which is what you want in a primer. It's just going to help to make everything stay on that much longer. All right, and if you have seen any of my most recent videos, I'm sure you know what's coming next. I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is such a beautiful, dewy, luminous foundation. It's definitely buildable. I would say it's medium to full coverage. Even though it's full coverage, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a full coverage foundation. And honestly, there is no such thing as too much glow. So in with that, I'm going to mix in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow highlighter. This is in the shade Perla. If you have seen any of my videos, you know that this is a ride or die product for me. I'm going to be blending this in with my JH03 brush. This brush is very similar to the Morphe M439 brush, so if you have that, it's basically almost kind of the same thing, in my opinion. So I really love this foundation brush. It's definitely one that I reach for more often. Now I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer just to brighten up my under eye because I did not sleep last night. My dog kept me up and I'm feeling like The Walking Dead, which is not cute. That's not a look. I'm also going to mix in just a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow concealer just to get the right shade. I'm just going to use my Stands Out Beauty Sponge to blend that in. Now I'm going to set my face just to make sure that everything stays in place all day long and that when I go in with the rest of my face powders that they don't look blotchy or anything like that on the skin. For my under eye, I will be using my Airspun Translucent Powder. I wish I could say that I love this product, however, it just is not the same. I'm so used to my RCMA No Color Powder, which is literally everything to me. I use that all the time, whereas I feel like this Airspun one isn't as bright and I can't stand the smell of it. I literally hate it. I know it's so stupid to not like the smell of it, but it's just not for me. I'm going to put that on with my JH07 brush. I always like to go in and tap out my concealer before I apply my powder just to make sure that I'm not setting any creases on my face because once you set your creams or your liquids, they're going to stay in place and you're not really going to be able to go in and blend anything out or remove any creases. I'm just going to go in and set the rest of my face lightly with this Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. I don't know how I feel about this. It's super messy in the sense that it just has a lot of fallout when you're applying it. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product. As far as the coverage goes, it definitely does have decent coverage. But let me just show you. I'm going to be using my JH01 brush to apply this. This super big puffy foundation, not foundation, powder brush. So as you can see, when I go in with this powder, it just gets super messy. It's kind of not really showing up, but you can see there's just a lot of fallout and I feel like it's just a pain, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just going to tap this onto my skin just to make sure that when I go in with my bronzer that it applies nicely because patchy bronzer is not a look and I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. For bronzer today, I will be using my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil bronzer. I'm definitely gonna be using a light hand with this because this is a darker bronzer and as you can see, I am 
very pale. I'm gonna be applying that with my JHO2 brush, which is definitely my favorite bronzer brush lately. I'm gonna dip into that Airspun translucent powder once again with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge and just go in right where I put that bronzer just to kind of go in and clean that up just because I did kind of just do a general bronzing and I just wanna give my face a little bit more, you know, cut. So I'm just going to go in right under here and clean it up. For blush today, I'm going to be picking up my Morphe Pop of Coral Blush Trio. I have to say, I've really been enjoying this. It just has three great shades in here. You have two mattes and a shimmer. I'm going to be picking up the shade Boss today, and I will be applying that to the top of my cheeks. I'm gonna take my Morphe highlighter in the shade Spark. I'm gonna spray my face with some of my Morphe Continuous Setting Limit Mist and then put this onto the top of my cheekbones with my JH09 brush. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna speed through this. This is not new news and you guys know how to fill in brows. Pretty self-explanatory, so let's speed through this and get started with the eyes. I'm picking up my Bretman Rock and ColourPop lip palette and I'm going to pick up the shade period and I'm just going to be applying that with my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to focus this on my crease and my outer corner just to start to build the smokiness for today's look. I'm not going to bring this up too high because I don't want this to be my transition shade. I kind of just want to map out where I'm going to put the other shades. I'm also going to sweep some of this shadow onto my lower lash line and I'm doing this just because I want to be able to connect it with this upper outer corner to create more of that wung out V shape. So I'm just going to bring this just like this and then just kind of connect this up through here like so. Now I'm taking the shade Like with a fluffy domed blending brush. I'm going to focus this shade a little bit tighter through this crease and outer corner. So I'm basically going to be applying it in the same exact areas but just using a little bit of a lighter hand and going in to make sure it's not as blown out because I do want this to be a darker color that we're using today. So I'm just going to follow this guide I gave myself and just build this up until I'm happy with the pigmentation. same brush I'm taking the shade Macchiato and I'm just going to focus this in that same area just to deepen up the look a little bit more. And of course, bring that down through this lower lash line as well. So now I'm just going to take some concealer with my Morphe M224 brush and just cut out the lid a little bit in that very inner corner just so that when I go in with the gold shade that it's just a bit more pigmented. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to pick up the shade She Got Money and I'm going to put this onto my ring finger and press this onto my lid and I'm going to be putting this right up until that outer corner shade and then I'll go back in with the brush that we used with that like shade which was that super pinky shade and I'm going to just kind of blend back and forth to blend those shades together. I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette and I'm going to take the shade Pearl and put this into my inner corner and slightly blend it back with that She Got Money shade. I'm also just going to highlight my brow bone with that same shade. Now what I'm going to do is just take a black shadow and I'm going to stamp this along my lash line and slightly blend it out to add a little bit of definition. Now I'm just going to throw on a quick coat of mascara and lashes for mascara today. I'll be using my NARS Climax Mascara. I'm going to be using my Chase Chic Lashes in the style Fierce today. I love these lashes because they have a very pretty cat eye effect. If you are interested in trying out any lashes from Chase Chic Lashes, you can use the code BROOK20 at checkout to save 20%. I'm just taking my Morphe black eyeliner and I'm putting this into my lower waterline and then I'm going to coat my lashes, my lower lashes with some mascara. So this completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. Click all the buttons down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you turn my post notifications on so you can see when I upload. I recently had someone else tell me that they never see my videos anymore even though they're subscribed, which is so frustrating. So please turn on that notification bell because I work hard for my videos and I want you guys to see them. If you have any other kinds of looks or palettes you want to see me use, just leave some comments down below and and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.